All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another quick and dirty edition. Today, we're going to cover linoleum. Finally, the different kinds of linoleum. There are a lot of topics I want to get through today. I'm going to cut them into separate videos so that you are not stuck watching one 20 minute video after another. So linoleum, here it is in all of its glory. It comes mounted and unmounted. Let's talk about the mounted linoleum. It comes pre-cut in a range of sizes. You're really only limited by the supplier. Four by five, five by seven, 18 by 24. I don't know how large mounted linoleum gets, but because it is mounted to MDF, um, it gets pretty heavy. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure how big they get, but they probably don't get that big. With linoleum, so what is linoleum? Let's start there. Linoleum is a mixture of linseed oil and organic materials. And here I mean organic materials as in naturally occurring materials. So cork dust, limestone dust. Um, I think resin is in here as well. And I believe each manufacturer has their own, you know, kind of recipe for it. This is battleship gray linoleum. It is the only kind I have on hand. I've seen brown linoleum. You've also probably seen those speed, speedball easy carve blocks. Those are obviously not linoleum. Those are rubber, I believe. Um, now, because linoleum is made with linseed oil, it does yellow over time. It does have a shelf life. The, the linseed oil does become brittle. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but this piece of linoleum is yellower than this piece of linoleum. This has been in my studio for several years now. Um, and maybe I could even do this camera. Um, I will probably not get a super crisp lino cut out of this, but I will still use it. I hate wasting materials. And so I will still try to use it, but um, the yellower it gets, the more brittle it gets. And, you know, once it starts crumbling, there's just no point in trying. Now, an interesting thing to note is that this is yellower than this block, but not as yellow as this block. These are both recent purchases. And what that tells me is that 18 by 24 inch mounted linoleum is not flying off the shelves. <laughs> it's probably hanging out in the warehouse. Um, getting old. And I, I don't hold that against the company. I mean, it's hard to know. Um, I probably have a, another year or two before I would really want to throw this away. The best way to store linoleum is out of the light. And if you can in plastic wrap, I don't store it that way. I don't have, I just am not interested in, <laughs> in like wrapping all my linoleum in plastic. But if you buy it in bulk, if you buy it in a roll, however you buy it, um, try to try to keep it in the wrapping. So when I bought... Let me put this off to the side. When I bought unmounted linoleum, um, I had read by then that it does have a shelf life, which I hadn't known before, and um, that it is best to keep it in the wrapping. So I still have the box I bought, um, a bunch of 24 by 24 inches. You can get unmounted linoleum in rolls. It is, It has a hessian backing, and hessian is just another word basically for burlap. Um, and it's that linseed, I believe, um, plus the hessian backing, but it's the linseed that gives it this plasticity. Um, you can cut this down. It is not economically preferable. I have checked out the pricing and it looks like um, they're, pretty, they're pretty hip to that. So if you buy a piece of 24 by 24, it's the same as buying a piece of 12, 212 by 24. Um, there's like no price break. But but what is beneficial is that I can now cut this into a circle. I can cut this into a triangle. I can cut this into some odd, you know, I can make eight by 24. Um, it's nice to have a larger sheet to cut smaller pieces out of if you're planning on doing an irregularly sized um, print. The benefit of mounted linoleum is that you do have this hard backing. It's, it, it's sturdy. You can carve into it. You can hand print onto it. Um, and obviously I would have like a registration device and so forth, but um, you could then take your, I use my rice paddle. Um, I've tried different things. This has just become my favorite thing um, because it has kind of a built-in thing, handle that I can use the way that you might use a dowel. 
Um, yeah, so it's easy to get an even print on something that has a, a uniformly even surface. If you don't have that in your studio, um, this might be something convenient. The drawback of mounted linoleum is that you cannot put it through a press, I believe. Relief presses might be able to take mounted linoleum, but intaglio or etching presses can only really take, they're only, they're only meant for um, thin metal um, plates, so they can really only take unmounted linoleum. The reason I mention that is because um, etching presses are super common, so if you start really getting into lino cut and you're printing by hand, eventually, I guarantee you, <laughs> you're going to be like, I got to get myself a press. Um, and I have found, and I'll talk about relief presses in another video, but um, relief presses are not common. Um, and they're expensive. So the benefit of unmounted linoleum is that it can go through a press. It is, it doesn't take up as much room. It is easy to move around your studio. Um, it is, you know, it has kind of all of the benefits of mounted linoleum. Um, if you have a firm backing on your, you know, I have glass here. That means that I can put, I, I do almost exclusively hand printing. And so I can put my paper down and print and have an even, also an even backing here. Um, what else? I believe that is it. So I did talk last time about cleaning up oil-based ink, and I will talk next time about the different kinds of presses in my next video about the different kinds of presses you can use with unmounted linoleum. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Please do leave a comment if you have one to make or a suggestion or a question. I am happy to answer um, and address um, any of your concerns or questions or what have you. All right, everyone. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.